today, iPhones and the internet have become an essential part of our life as we know it. But this also comes with some advantages and disadvantages. Some disadvantages of smartphones and the internet are that internet usage takes your freedom away. You can lose your freedom because all the time you are with your phone, there is always someone listening or waiting until you say the words, I want or I need, so they can send you targeted advertising. There are also some great rewarding advantages of an iPhone or the internet, like music, or you can read the news or watch sport. You can do all sorts of things. You can communicate with your friends or catch up with people that you haven't seen for ages, organize things. You can do all sorts of things with it. An advantage is, is it's like a mini supercomputer in your pocket that you can use almost anywhere and you won't have a problem because all you have to do is turn it off, and stick it in your pocket. Just like that. So you can just take it out of your pocket and use it on the toilet. You could watch movies, read the news, scroll through Instagram or Facebook. Right, so you got Mr. T here with us now. All right, Mr. T, how do you yep. use technology in your life today? Um, I use it mainly for communication. Yep. So emails and so on. Um, I use Skype a lot. My mother lives overseas. Yep. And so I get on Skype every day and talk to her. So yeah. I'm keeping, keeping contact with her. So you can keep in um, touch with your family. Keep in touch with my family. Yeah. Yeah. Manage. Yeah. Um, get in contact with my, my children. I also use uh, technology for banking and so on. And yeah. just really for, um, I like to read the newspapers online. So I subscribe to online newspapers so I can know what's going on with the world. So. Yeah. To, 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 yeah, to learn about yeah. the, what's, cool, what's plenty happening of, as well. Plenty of different ways to use it. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. I think Thank that's you. it. Thank you. Right. So we got Sam here with us now. Here you go, Sam. Do you feel as though you're living more in the digital world or the real world? Um, yeah, I feel I live in the digital world because I'm always on my phone. And yep. Playing computer games. Yeah, right. Eh? What do you do on your phone? Oh, uh, you know, like, in the social media. Yeah. Know, play video games, you know. Yeah, right, eh? Do you, do you feel like this affects your mental or physical well-being? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it does, eh? Just a little bit. Is that in a positive or a negative way? Oh, uh, probably in a negative way. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. The role of a digital citizen in today's world is that they need to respect all other citizens' privacy and not say or do things that they wouldn't want said to them. You should never copy other people's work. You should always respect others' opinions and ideas. And you also have a responsibility to report cyberbullying, threats and inappropriate use of digital resources. In the documentary, the anti-social network. Richard Bacon was using all different camera angles, such as high angles, to show that he had no real power in the situation he was in. He also had the cameras doing extreme close-up shots on his face, showing that he felt insecure and depressed, which made viewers really feel for him and wanted to help him through the situation. So for anyone who listened, I hope that the interviews and my ideas and opinions Hope you understand the advantages and disadvantages about smartphones and the internet. Thanks for listening.